Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2023 video tutorial. It's a follow-up to the last one, the storage compartment. I made two variations. So that's the original one. That's the first variation and that's the second variation. And they're all kind of different. So let's have fun with Inventor. Okay, so these are the original curves and I will need another one over here, this one over here, and I will do it with a 2D sketch. So let's go for a 2D sketch here on that plane, that's okay. And I want to project these curves inside that sketch here, and of course those should be not for construction but solid. Finish that sketch and I will need two more 3D sketches. One here and one there so in order to make it just with one loft. So go for another 3D sketch and I want to bring in this here, that one this one, this one, and that one. And these should be... Let's try to select them all like this and not for construction, like that. Finish that sketch. Then I want to go for another 3D sketch. And again I want to bring in those curves here okay and again make those not for construction and now I should be able to do it in one loft so let's try okay go for a loft and I want to use that 3D sketch as section and that 3D sketch as section. And I want to use as rail this one here and let's take a look that one here. Kind of hard to select. Okay, that would be sketch three, I suppose. This one here. Let's take a look. That's this one. That one. This one should be that one. Yes, it is. And confirm and make this one not translucent, which gives me this surface here. And of course I want to move the original one, so that's this surface and I want to move it in that direction. So let's go for modify, move bodies, maybe move this one in that direction. So that would be a Y offset, the body would be that surface here, yes, and it should go in the Y direction, maybe minus 500, and confirm. Now let's show this one, and move that one again with move bodies. Again, it's zero in X direction. The body would be this one, of course, and it should be 500 in Y direction. Great. And maybe bring back that one sketch here. That's this one. Visible. Okay. So I can go for my third option. 
Okay, now I want to try it with three lofts. So I need this one here and that one. So I want to go for a new 3D sketch and bring in that line here. And of course it should be not for construction. Finish that sketch. Another 3D sketch. And I want to bring in this line here. And again, it should not be for construction. Finish that sketch. Now let's do a loft. That's one section, second section. And I want to use this one here as rail. And of course, that one here. It's hard to see if it's really selected. Now it's selected and confirm. Make the surface not translucent. Now I want to hide those sketches. Let's see, that would be the 2D sketch, this one here. And that one should be, I suppose, this one here. Okay, let's do another loft from this profile to that profile and add the edge here as rail. So the preview seems not to work, but if you confirm you will see it works. But I want to add here if possible a tangent condition. Let's see if we can do that. So conditions, yeah, edge 5 rail, you could add here tangent condition as well and confirm. Let's make this one not translucent. Yeah, looks very similar to this one. Now on the other side, same procedure, go for another loft, select this one as first section, second section, and again this edge here as rail, Again, no preview, but it works. And then add the tangent condition to the rail here. Like that, confirm, and make this one again not translucent. And now I could stitch those surfaces together. So go for stitch, this one, that one, and this one. Apply and done make it not translucent. So this looks to be very, very similar to that one. If there is a slight difference, I don't see it with my naked eyes. Anyway, hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Instagram, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one.